So the, the, the YWCA had booked up everything in Harlem and uh, they had nothing for me. So I told them they had to uh, find something for me because I'm all the way from Ohio and I don't have anywhere to live. And so she says, well, I'll see. So she went to, through all her files and everything, looking for a room or some place for me to sit. And about what mm -hmm. year was this? Mm, about 51. All right. So what did you think about Harlem? We've all heard about the Harlem Renaissance and... So she what, said, what did you think about Harlem? So she finally found me a room, and uh, that room was six dollars a week, and I only had about mm, ten, fifteen, ten, ten or fifteen dollars. So I had to eat, and I was thinking, uh, uh, how how much am I going? I don't know how much I was going to pay for the Y. But I knew it wasn't much more than five dollars a week for rent, and um, finally she found a room, and she said, uh, "I have a place." She says, "But uh, this woman is very particular, and we don't like to send nobody to her house." And so. Uh, Anyway, I told her I would go talk to her. And then the guy that I was with, we started calling each other cousin, last name, uh, because of the last name. And so he had my one piece of luggage. <coughs> Didn't have any clothes. And uh, he walked me only two blocks from the Y. I can remember the Y was between 7th Avenue and 8th Avenue. And this lady lived between 8th Avenue and I can't think of the name of the other street. But it was only a, about a long block from the subway. So, um, I went there and they called her and told her that I was coming. He carried my luggage because he, this is another thing, I didn't have any money, but when he picked me up for the, the bus station, he called a cab, he, he hailed a cab and took me up to the Y. So that was his expense and so I didn't have to pay that. Uh, when we got there, this lady had a smile come on in and whatnot. This is still in Harlem? This was right down from the YW. Okay. And so she opened her door with a smile, and uh, we talked a few minutes, and she showed me the room. Went up to a third floor, and the room was no bigger than uh, five by six, you can just turn around at it. And it had a single bed in it, had a dresser. So and how long did you end up staying in New York? Altogether, maybe th three years. Wow, so you were there quite some time. I worked, I had office, one office position uh, to the next. They had, they would hire you just like that by just coming in. So you worked and in doctor's show, offices, that's what you're saying? No, they had mostly business office. And as a matter of fact, I worked more in uh, auditing than anything else. Oh, okay. Bookkeeping and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Than anything else. So I stayed with that lady. Uh, practically the whole time I was there, except about the last year. So when you were 